Alright everybody, this is Bart again. I uh, want to come bring y'all a quick little how-to video on how to uh, a particular app that I have in Blackberry World, gotten from Blackberry World. Really cool app and uh, like to demonstrate it for y'all. Uh, the Passport is an amazing device and with the right software, it you could use it for quite a few different variety of things and ways. And uh, the particular app I want to demonstrate uh, to y'all actually allows y'all to, to utilize the actual full screen of your display. And uh, you could use this real estate on the passport, especially the passport, as an actual, as an actual touchpad for your computer, tablet, Android tablets. And um, if you got Bluetooth, this will work. With if your computer system's got Bluetooth or your Android device, um, it's only certain Android devices, but you, you just have to try it out and give it a try and see. So, uh, I sure hope that y'all um, try it out. So, I'm gonna uh, demonstrate this. The protect the app, um, I'll just go ahead and demonstrate it to you and let you actually see it on hand. But I'll demonstrate it on my Android tablet. So y'all can see it firsthand what it actually looks like using it on the Android tablet. And uh, I try to put the the passport and the Android tablet in the same picture so you can see the app and the actual movement on the um, touchpad. So I'll be back in a second. Hello, everybody. This is brought again for the second part. I uh, want to bring y'all the app review part and demonstrate how to use the actual app itself and uh, show y'all the actual um, working of the actual app that I want to demonstrate and the name of the app is called Blue Touchpad I'll put a link in the descriptions for y'all and this is where the Close the app and I'll just show you from the beginning what, what it looks like when you open it. I'm on, on my passport. So it's called a blue touchpad. And when it opens right here, you get some options. I put my passport where you can see it really good. You get some options right here. You're different. You first of all you have to pair the pair the uh, you have to pair the app with your um, devices, your um, computer, tablet, and so on, so that it actually will work and stuff. It works with Android, it works with PC, with Bluetooth. You have to have Bluetooth for it to work. So I have my desktop computer paired, and I have my tablet paired. So we're going to go on my actual tablet. And right here, it's connecting and when it's paired it shows up on the top right hand corner that is blue showing that it's paired and um, definitely something you got different options right here touchpad media control and num lock num lock shows you the actual um, actual number pad if you want to punch in the numbers and stuff like that. Good for a computer, desktop computer, I uh, need to punch the, the number pad in. So definitely, um, definitely useful. So you got a uh, media control right here. Very simple. This is actually really quite good for if you need to, if you're away from your tablet, and you want to play music off of your tablet or uh, your desktop computer and uh, you got a music app synced for, for this and I'll, I'll play a music some music real quick and show y'all how this works it's playing out of my tablet and right here at the bottom we got decreased volume and Increase volume, and we got mute. 
unmute, put it up a little bit. We got the forward button and back. So we got stop, pause, and this works really good on the tablet. As you can see here on, on the tablet, it shows the actual song I'm playing as we we uh, play him. So very good and useful part of, of this app. So let's get back to the main part. We got the actual touchpad. And this is actually what I want to demonstrate. This is why the passport is boss, hands down. And because look at the real estate in this screen. I want to demonstrate this. Look at the real estate that you have on this tab on this phone to actually to um to actually uh, make the passport makes an actual really good touchpad. So uh, definitely something good. You click it. It's pop up the actual whoop, unlock the device. We unlock my tablet as you can see. Fix myself so you can see the tablet and the phone at the same time. So you can actually can use right here on the right side you got a little scroll. You can scroll through your apps in your app drawer right here. Uh, you can't y'all can't really see it. But if you look really good on the actual tablet, you got a mouse pointer. An actual mouse. So you can click and go through your different app drawers that you have. Uh, apps and stuff. And you same thing. You can scroll through your apps and see what, what apps and stuff that you, you actually have. So definitely really cool and uh, we have a another feature on the Android that I recently learned is that okay we can't go back because the, the actual Android tablet has physical keyboards buttons and you can't go back but there, there, um, there is a simple way to actually go back on the um, on the app and you click the little menu at the top and right here you have on this app they got all the functions of an actual computer you got the F keys you get the Windows key you got um, the right mouse click button uh, scroll lock print screen um, cap locks and so forth so the actual escape key if you press the escape key once on your Android tablet it actually exit out of the actual app or app that you're you in so we're going to exit that and we'll fix my hand we actually can see the the tablet itself so go ahead and open up an app i use twitter to demonstrate this with we'll go to new tabs as you can see, you see how you see the, the mouse now on the actual screen? It gives you the function of an actual mouse. So we're going to go to the top of my news feeds. And, and with the actual scroll on the right side of the screen, I'm going to scroll and see what, what tweets I actually have on my uh, feed. And see what actually I like to look at. Oh, this is pretty cool. Kali, nice blackberries. Definitely sweet. When you click it, it opens, and you can. Well, oh, I selected it. That's okay. Well, we're gonna go ahead and share this, retweet it. We you single click it, retweet it, and. Sometimes it's, it's a little, it's sensitive. It's a touchpad. So you just take your time to learn it. You could adjust the sensitivity. 
adjust the sensitivity to your likings and you can scroll retweet and all types of things that you normally do which are uh, like on a mouse pad a physical mouse pad it uh, definitely does wonders so as you can see I'm scrolling down my feeds on, on my tablet and then if I wanna exit no well I actually don't want to exit I want to demonstrate something I actually want to send out a, a tweet and show y'all boss mode and demonstrate boss mode for y'all and we're going to come up here and we're going to type with the actual passport keyboard trying out blue Let's see touchpad trying out blue touchpad video will be done soon so basically they, all we got to do is right here on the app I want to demonstrate on the actual app because you got all the different features they got the uh, scroll the, um, the go back the pin the message copy the message uh, exit the message the message like the the highlight and stuff that um, and the little button right here in the right corner goes back to the actual touchpad so this is what we want to do. We want to go back to the actual touchpad, let the camera focus, and we're going to send out a tweet. Oh, yeah, hang on. Okay, and we're going to send out a tweet. So, tweets have tweets sent using the actual blue touchpad touchscreen on my device oh, I, I know why my screen is dim a little bit because it's actually in battery safe mode because I have 20% of battery left so but which is fine you could see it the screen a little bit when I'm up close I want to demonstrate some of the other features that's on here go into the menu and options Let's uh, make that dim. You got general options. You got disable screen dimming, automatic connect. This is allowed it to connect all automatically to the Bluetooth device and uh, the touchpad. Get the sensitivity, touch sensitivity, scroll sensitivity. Uh, if you find it scrolls too fast or whatnot, you can adjust the sensitivity to your uh, liking tap to release uh, left finger um, enable scroll area when turn on right side touchpad can be used to scroll up and scroll down so they have a lot of options in here you can show touchpad buttons and I'm going to demonstrate this for you for y'all and at the bottom right here you actually got touchpad buttons so you you can select things and stuff with it and we'll go back to change the settings back like it was oh. touchpad That's the your, your, so basically your right mouse button and left mouse button functions on the device. So uh, got natural true true gesture scroll gestures that you could use um, to scroll with and stuff. That also has the scrolling gesture scrolls in the opposite direction 
of your two fingers. So it different the, the gestures that you can use on the touchpad for your uh, to do for different functions to um, to move window panes and stuff like that, and um, it show border around touchpad and go back. They got keyboard. You can do auto compliance, period shortcuts and close and reopen the touchpad screen to apply changes well that's normal when you when you change something in any that day of, um, the app most times you gotta close it to actually let the settings change so um, then they got diagnostic mode which is basically uh, to help you figure out what's wrong why it's not pairing and things like that so um, pretty straightforward there so um, definitely an, a nice app it does what it says let me clear clear this if you hit it just right you can You gotta hit it just right to get it to a. Hey, you gotta click. And voila, unlocks. So, and then if you wanna come there and actually close the actual apps on your device, you, uh, like I was saying earlier, you click the load the keyboard right here on the bottom that I had demonstrated earlier, and you press the escape key. And it actually closes whatever you have open and minimizes it to the back to the back. So I'm using mobile launcher on my on my tablet. So basically what I have, I actually have a shortcut in the middle right here for Recent apps allows me to access my um, recent apps and stuff, so you can see what I have. So basically, if I want to close it, hit the close all button, and voila, all my apps is closed. So I'll be back in in a second for the third part and the in discussion and and thoughts about it and stuff so um, definitely a wonderful a wonderful app it's definitely a wonderful app so um, as you can see here the actual keyboard passport is wonderful for this so uh, hopefully I'm not speaking too loud and that I'm um, definitely that y'all hear me clearly, and that I'll see y'all in a second. Alright everybody, we're back with the final part of the video, the review video. I uh, sure hope y'all enjoyed the video, and that y'all liked it. Um, my Twitter is uh, twitter.com forward slash littlebyte76. And my YouTube channel is youtube.com forward slash littlebyte76. So uh, please remember to like, share, and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. And uh, leave a comment. And um, I actually uh, enjoyed making this video. It goes to show you what you can do with your, with your BlackBerry device. And um, you probably got software like this and on other platforms. And, maybe Google Play services but you know it's just amazing that you actually can use the BlackBerry Passport with the actual real estate that's on the Passport and uh, use it for the full benefit that you can with the device and uh, it's got a, a really big screen and uh, definitely allows for it to be utilized as a touchpad so I definitely hope that, uh, excuse me, definitely hope that y'all enjoyed this video, and um, I wanted to 
bring all of you something new, something different, something exciting. I, I might do another video with this app demonstrating the actual computer. It works better on the computer as opposed to an Android device. So um, definitely going to give it a shot and see how they how they go. So uh, in the next coming weeks, I'm, I might actually demonstrate the actual app on um, on the computer, the functionality and stuff, how to use it on the um, desktop computer system. So that's maybe a, a, a video I might do in the future. So um, definitely want to thank y'all for watching and. Uh, Please like, share, and subscribe.